Hey everybody, in this video, we're gonna show you how trimming works on Dub. So once you've created and uploaded a video to Dub, you can visit the editing tab. Here, you'll notice the visual trimmer. You can lengthen the timeline so you can get to a more detailed part of your video. Then you can use the play button to play your video. You can hey fast forward or go to the first frame. Now, if you wanna target a specific part of your video to take out, here's what you can do. You can, let's say if I wanna take out the part of my video that I'm waving. So I'm going to click play. <clears throat> this is Darius. And then go to the part where I stopped waving and now I'm gonna split the clip. So this part of my video where I was waving, I can now either click the delete clip or I can press the delete key on my keyboard to delete that part of the video. If I made a mistake, I can undo my mistake and now I'm back to the full video. So here's how you can select the part of the video you'd like to take out. Now, if it's somewhere else in the video, simply play the video, play video and show you go guys to the how part trimming works. that you want to trim, select, and then play and to the to part off the last piece. that you want to take where you want the trim to stop and then split the clip again. Then you can delete that section that you just isolated. So let's just restart that and let's now pretend that we want to take off maybe the last frame of the video. So we're not going to do any of those other things. We just want to take off the final frame of the video. You can see here, I forgot to press the stop button. So I want to take out the part where I look down. So now I can play the video. Okay, so that's the part that I want to take out. Peace. Okay, so maybe just a little tiny bit sooner. And then split the clip. And now I'm going to delete that last part of my video. And now it's maybe just one second sooner. And then I can delete those parts so it doesn't include the you know, looking away or looking down at the keyboard. And then I would click save. Now, some other features here for you guys to be aware of, there is a replace video feature. So if you need to replace your video, you can replace the entire video here. This means the link and the QR code will all remain the same, buttons, all the other details, you can just replace the entire video itself. And then on the design tab under thumbnail, you can choose a custom thumbnail. You can either use any point in the video you want to, to generate your three second GIF. So that means the three seconds following wherever you select is gonna generate the thumbnail, or you can upload a custom thumbnail graphic here. So that's editing on dub.